Good day everyone. Welcome back to our topic for today. I am Mr. John Russell L. Adeste. Hello. Now let's talk about how to find the epicenter of an earthquake. Our most essential learning competency, describe and relate the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts to plate tectonic theory. Our objectives are compute the epicenter from the station, second, locate the epicenter of an earthquake using triangulation method. Our materials, hypothetical records of earthquake waves, Philippine map, and drawing compass and ruler. For our procedure, study the data showing the difference in the arrival time of P wave and S-Wave on three seismic recording stations. We have the recording stations, time difference in the arrival time of P-Wave and S-Wave in seconds, and we will compute the distance of epicenter from the station. For Cavite, we have 28 seconds, Virac, 40 seconds, Vigan, 12 seconds. Our procedure, first, compute the distance of the epicenter from each of the station using this formula. D is equal time difference divided by 8 seconds times 100 kilometers, where D is equal to distance with a unit of kilometers. TD are time difference in the arrival time of P wave and S wave in seconds. And this formula is suited because 8 seconds in the interval between the times of arrival of the P wave and S wave at a distance of 100 kilometers. Alright, now let's compute using this formula. For Cavite, we have 28 seconds of time difference divided by 8 seconds times 100 kilometers. Our answer is all right, 300 kilometers. How about in Virac? 40 seconds divided by 8 seconds times 100 kilometers. Our answer is 500 kilometers. How about in vegan? 12 seconds divided by 8 seconds times 100 kilometers. The answer is 150 kilometers. Now, for procedure number two, choose one of the recording stations and measure the computed distance on the scale. The scale of the map is 1 cm is equal 100 km. Set your compass for that computed distance. Third, center your compass on the station you have chosen. Draw a circle. Fourth, repeat steps 2 and 3 for the rest of the stations. You should get 3 circles that intersect or nearly intersect at a point. This intersection is the epicenter. All right, now let's do it. Hello, welcome back. So now we're going to do the procedure number two and three. So let us find the epicenter from one of the recording stations. So I have here, so we have um, the recording station, the Philippine map, the drawing compass, and of course we have the ruler. Now, since that we have already computed the Cavite, we have 300 kilometers on its the distance of epicenter from the station so using our philippine map 
that as find and draw a circle for us to be able to find the epicenter and that method is we're going to use the triangulation method all right so 300 kilometers now as you can see there is an available or there's a given measurement um so we have zero here so this one um sorry this one since 1 cm is equivalent to 100 kilometers therefore this one we have 1 cm 2 cm so it lies on the 2.5 cm all right since Cavite is 300 kilometers where is Cavite? Cavite it is the Cavite so Cavite Cavite so we have Cavite 300 meaning here For 300 kilometers and now using a compass sorry, using a compass we will draw a circle on it okay here we go Recabite. Next, we have Virac. We have 500 kilometers. Virac is Catanduanes. Uh, 500, so it lies on 5 centimeters. Virac. Where is Virac here? Virac. Oh, 500 km. So using a compass, let us find its episode. second station. So if you wanted to become a seismologist, so, kuha lang kayo ng course na geology, I think. So, we have 300, second station is 500. Now, let's do vegan, the third station. We have 100 kilometers. Vegan. Among these three, Virac lang yung hindi ko pa napupuntahan. Supposed to be, sasama ko ng friend ko, kaso... Hindi, no. So, 150. So, meaning, from here, here, 150. 150 km. I think, um, Use a no, different color of pen. So, 150. Ganun siya. Yun yung distance niya. Ibig sabihin, malapit lang yung earthquake or yung epicenter kay vegan. Now, let's do it. Now, let us see sa ang point siya. Sinsya maglalay na point. Hmm? Ano? 
So adjust natin, you know, lalo na siya adjust. Kung ayaw, gawa ng paraan. Okay, yan. So dapat nalalak natin siya. So let us lock. Kung wala kayong ano, kung wala kayong compass, pwede mo kayong gumamit ng ng pin. Then pin nyo lang. So, ay. So, let us see. Saan siya mag-align? Saan ko yung epicenter niya? Ito nyo ba? Baka baka may ko. Diba ang hirap? Ulit, ulit, ulit. Hmm, tignan tayo dito. Sabi dun sa ano, procedure number 5, ah, 4. Kung saan ba yung pinaka? Yun. So, let us check. Let us use a marker for us to be able to see. Yan na naman ako. So, for V dyan, we have 150. Ano yung ano to? Cavite? Or 300? Or Cavite? Ah. And we have Katanduanes, 500. Alright, yan. So, as you can see, saan kaya nag-lie yung tatlo? Saan sila nag-intersect? Okay? Based on this, as you can see, um, Katanduanes, Vigan, and Cavite, nag sila here. Part of Isabela. Here. Meaning, our epicenter is here. So, our epicenter lies in Isabela. Alright? Between Isabella and So let us see Okay, let us see nga if it is in Isabella So here, this one Fugal, Isabella Therefore, between the three stations Between the three stations The epicenter of an earthquake Lies in Isabella Alright, that is what called the triangulation method Okay? Bye!